I find the notion that people fake being trans just for attention to be absolutely preposterous. Why would anyone, in their right mind, want to pretend to be part of a community of people that large swaths of the population irrationally hate just for attention? It makes zero sense to me. Maybe a few people do, I don't know, I can't say for certainty that no one has ever done this, but it is certainly not to the extent that many people would like you to believe. Oftentimes, when someone is labeled a transtrender, quote-unquote, it's usually because they either identify as female and they still act more masculine, or they identify as male and they still act more feminine. People will come up with any justification under the sun to invalidate a trans person's identity, and that's exactly what I I think this transgender bullshit is, but the label is convenient because transphobes can still say they support the trans community, they support quote-unquote real trans people, but it's just those darn transgenders they just cannot stand. It gets to a point where a very, very small number of trans people are the real trans people, usually the ones that validate these bigots' warped views of the world, like say Blair White for example. But everyone else? Trenders. Another problem I have with this is how the fuck can you even tell that someone is a trender anyway? Unless they point blank tell you, yeah, I'm not really trans, I'm just doing it for attention. Oh, but it's the way they present themselves. They say they're a woman, but they still act like a man. They say they're a man, but they still act like a woman. People can identify and present themselves any way they choose to. This has been going on for fucking ages. Look at tomboys and femboys. Their personalities and interests can differ quite a bit from most other people who are the same gender as them. So what excludes trans people from acting quote-unquote traditionally feminine if they identify as a man, or traditionally masculine if they identify as a woman? To me, this just seems like a stupid double standard. People seem to be coming to terms with this when cis people do it, but when trans people do it, ugh, that's a big no-no. Not everyone has to fit into cisgender norms. I feel like that's part of what being a trans person is. Waving the middle finger at society's expectations of you based on what genitalia you were born with. Any cis man that acts more feminine is not any less of a man. Any cis woman who acts more masculine is not any less of a woman. Some backwards idiots may still criticize them for their gender expression, but no one ever disputes that those people are not men and women. So why do trans people have to be placed onto this unfair standard? For the people who buy into this transgender bullshit, these people have to act exactly like how these people expect a trans person to act like, or they're just genders, and they're not valid. This causes absolutely nothing but harm, and it is especially sickening to see other trans people buy into this bullshit. Certain trans people, like, again, Blair White, are so obsessed into fitting into cisgender norms that they shame any trans person who breaks away from said norms. This only harms the trans community because this is just a magnet for transphobes to be like, see? This trans person hates these trenders as well. We're not transphobic, and then they'll subsequently say something like, this person is one of the good transgenders, or whatever the fuck other stupid shit transphobes like to say. Bottom line is, it is always conveniently the trans people they don't like, the ones that choose to not pander to their stupid worldviews, that are the trenders. It just shows how stupid and arbitrary this label really is. Trans people have a hard enough time living in society as it is. Now they have to actually prove that they're really a trans person? Fuck that shit. You would think these binary trans people, who shame other, less conforming trans people, and label them as genders, would remember how surely difficult it was to come out as trans, and they would be in more of a position than anyone else to understand that harassing and shaming these people for their identities and how they present themselves is just extremely harmful, but that seems to not be the case at all. Trans people like Blair White have this stupid holier-than-thou attitude. They think that just because they pass well to many cis people, every other trans person must be exactly the same, or else they're not valid, and they're faking being trans. Here's what I think about that. Fuck conforming to the rest of society. Identify and present yourself however you please. Life is too short. I say it's better spent being happy and being who you are than being unhappy and concealing who you are just to appease society. Whether you're cis, trans, non-binary, whatever, however you present yourself has no bearing on your gender identity. You are valid regardless. I see no problem whatsoever with letting 
letting people present themselves however they please, so long as no one is being harmed in the process, and no one is being harmed in the process, mind you, I couldn't give a fuck less. Just leave these people alone and let them live their lives, let them be happy, while you live your own life, not paying attention to something that does not harm you in the slightest. But I guess that's too much to ask for from transphobes, and they can go fuck themselves. Trans rights are human rights, that's all I have to say, Bye bye